Hi, I'm Mark, and you're watching Mark's Astro Journey. Hey, Mark here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the focal reducer I have on my Skywatcher 100ED APO refractor. And uh, one of the things that I feel like I went for a while, I didn't have it right, and I felt like it's something that other people newer to astrophotography could benefit from, and that is what they call back focus. It's talking about the distance between um, the focal reducer uh, sometimes you also hear them called a field flattener or field corrector. And the distance between that and the sensor in your camera. So I'm going to go through that and show you what I've learned and what my image train looks like. And maybe this will be helpful to you in setting up your telescope for astrophotography. So on the left you notice the focal reducer corrector that I have for my ED100 telescope. So it's kind of a dual purpose. It's both a focal reducer and also a field edge corrector. And so um, if you look at the documentation, it states it needs 55 millimeters of back focus. And what this is talking about is the distance between the back side of the focal reducer corrector and the actual CMOS sensor in the camera. So why is this 55 millimeters distance important? According to the documentation, you're going to get the best field edge correction. You know where your stars are nice and round and crisp and not stretched or distorted as you go out towards the edges of your image. Determining the back side of the focal reducer is fairly simple. You don't include those threads sticking out, so just the back edge. But the camera is a little different. You need to determine what's the depth of the camera sensor inside because it's usually recessed. And so according to the documentation of the, ZO, the ZWO manual, in this camera it's recessed 6.5 millimeters from the front edge of the red part of the camera. And here you can see that illustrated in the diagram from the manual, they have that 6.5 millimeter measurement to the sensor from the front edge of the camera. And so for your camera, it's probably different you probably have a similar manual that uh, shows the same measurement. So next in my image train, heading towards the focal reducer, I have this T2 extender. It has a measurement of 11 millimeters. So totaled together so far, I have 17.5 millimeters. And once again, in the ZWO manual, they give the measurement of that T2 extender. You can see here it's 11 millimeters in the manual as well. Of course, you know, you could measure of this easily with a ruler. So next in my image train still working towards the focal reducer is the ZWO filter drawer. It has a measurement of 21 millimeters. So this brings me up to a total so far of 38.5 millimeters. Of course in your case you might be using a filter wheel so it may have a similar measurement or a different one so you'd have to account for that. So the last item next to the focal reducer is the ZWO extender in the 16.5 millimeter size. So this completes my 55 millimeter measurement of back focus. So here you can see the assembled image train connected to the telescope and also you'll notice I have on here there's that back focus measurement of 55 millimeters or that distance between the back side of the focal reducer corrector and the recessed CMOS sensor inside the camera. So I'm going to share where I went wrong on this initially. So I didn't take into account the recessed depth of the CMOS sensor in the camera, which is 6.5 millimeters. So that was throwing off my back focus measurement of the tubing I was using. And at that time I was also not using a, a filter drawer. And so I was just using tubing. <coughs> and I didn't, I bought a tubing extender kit and I didn't have the 
exact. I could not get the exact. I mean, it was close. It was very close to 55 millimeters. But if you think about it, since I didn't take into account the depth of the CMOS sensor, my back focus was actually too long, you know, because I had almost exactly 55 millimeters of, of tubing and then plus the 6.5 millimeters that the camera sensor is recessed inside the camera. So these are easy mistakes to make, I think, for, you know, a newbie. And uh, I just hope that just helps someone else who doesn't, you know, struggle with this or go along with the wrong amount of back focus. Um, I've read some posts where people say it's not super critical that, you know, even if it's off some, you're still able to focus. It just shifts it in one direction or the other. And, you know, I was able to get some pretty um, sharp images but I guess reading the vendor's documentation on their product, they do say that back focus measurement or the distance, as we've been talking about between the focal reducer and the sensor, is important to get the best results in the field edge correction on your image. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have other things that you'd like to share as you watch the video or suggestions, please leave those in the comments. Clear skies.